Hello YouTube, Dirk the Eng here, uh, bringing you another uh, video update on my CNC router parts 4896. Uh, today I made a lot of progress. Um, I got uh, the Z-axis aligned so that it provides uh, uh, axial alignment within about two mic or two thousandths of an inch over, uh, say, I think it was like six inch travel. Um, there are a couple things I need to do yet. Um, I need to get uh, a couple of precision shims and shim out the back on each side um, here uh, and that'll help bring out that uh, two thousandths of an inch in this direction down to zero on each side. Uh, <clears throat> the other thing I tried tramming the head and I got it uh, trammed easily this way but I have to shim out the bottom uh, here in order to get it trammed. I'm sure if I shim this out it might take care of my issue here so uh, we'll see. Uh, I did get a, a surface path done or surface pass and uh, you can really feel that it is very smooth in this direction. There's almost no uh, discernible um, tool path marks in the board this way. But uh, this way you can even see here. Um, and it's not, it's not bad. I mean, if I had to make a guess, I'd say it's like maybe a couple thousandths of an inch. I think I think your tactile sense is right around a thousandth of an inch, somewhere right around there. Um, maybe, I think that's around 10 microns or so. Um, and I can barely feel anything. It's not quite perfect, but uh, I've got things aligned pretty well. Um, there was one kind of big disappointment in the day, and that would be uh, the dust shoe from Kent CNC. Um, I don't know if you remember from an earlier video, I was concerned about um, the fact that there wasn't very much distance between the back of the shoe and the edge of a of a planing bit. Um, and that turned out to be a very valid concern. Um, so what happens when this thing is on? Uh, I mean, you can see already that even without anything in there, I don't know if you can get that angle there, but it just barely touches the bristles here. And with the suction on, it basically bends almost this entire side up underneath the bit like this. It folds it up under. So when it's running, basically what you see is this. I mean, it's a dynamic thing, so what it does is just keep all of those bristles tucked up underneath there and leave the chip path free to spew out all kinds of chips. I, it made a mess. Um... So I don't know, i got to see if I can try and get a hold of those Kent CNC people and ask them if they can make an addition of their their uh, shoe that comes back maybe another inch, inch and a half. Um, I'd be willing to pay more because uh, it, it just, look at that, I mean it makes a mess of everything. That fine dust gets out and gets sucked onto everything. It, it was, that's not a very safe working environment. Um, not only that, but it can end up destroying the bristles on your brush. Um, I don't know. I was pretty disappointed with that. Um, so for surface planing applications, uh, I would definitely not recommend buying this uh, shoe. Uh, so you look into making something on your own. But um, anyway... Uh, other than that, I think it went pretty well. Um, I know I have to buy a precision shim kit from like McMaster or somewhere else to get the final touches, but uh, it cuts well, it cuts fine. 
Um, and uh, this this uh, router can certainly handle these big uh, diameter bits. I think I took off about thirty thousandths of an inch um, on the table, um, and you can see I have I have to make one more pass yet uh, to get rid of this area that I milled into the table here earlier. Um, there was. Uh, This corner of the table was the lowest um, of anything in the in the table, which is where I zeroed everything off of, and uh, so I ended up taking a little more down than I wanted to. But that's all right. There's still plenty of room to get down to a smooth, continuous surface on here. So uh, anyway, uh, good day in the shop. Uh, my buddy Adam came over and helped me hang this uh, 220 plug. Um, and this is uh, something that I can use for overhead uh, power for like my bandsaw and stuff like that when I want to wheel it in place eventually and use it in this area. So um, see how it works out. Um, I can always move it if I need to, but uh, I think that's where I want it for now. But um, anyway, things are coming along. You know, as soon as I start getting this done, I can uh, get 4x8 sheets on here and start cutting plywood for uh, uh, benches and and drawers and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, really coming along. I'm really excited. Uh, won't be too much longer and this whole mess won't be here. It'll be all put away and stored nicely and organized and I'll have a nice shop. So... Uh, and then I can come back to uh, getting the laser up to snuff and put away in its own area and all that kind of stuff too. So uh, <clears throat> coming along, I'm really excited. So till next time, Dirk of the Inch signing off. Remember to uh, rate, subscribe, and uh, like on YouTube if you see this. So uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.